Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I have a grocery haul. It's been a little while since I shared one. You are looking at just over $200 worth of items. Uh, I picked up everything we need for a week, although I was missing at least one item. Um, but I did do the grocery delivery. I took advantage of that. I'm a Walmart Plus member, so I do get free delivery. The only thing I need to pay um, in addition to my groceries is just a tip. And with our busy schedule lately, I've definitely been taking advantage of the delivery and really getting, um, you know, that membership's worth of value. So let me show you everything I picked up. We did have some substitutions, but it wasn't too bad today. Um, let's just go ahead and start here with some household items. We needed some rubbing alcohol, so I picked up that. I'm not doing prices on the screen. I just don't have time to do that right now, you guys. I'm so sorry. I know some of you really enjoy that, but with our busy schedule, it's just not in the cards right now. Um, so I got that. Also, we were out of sandwich bags, so I picked up those. Over here, paper plates. Um, we're using paper plates obviously with how crazy busy we are so we needed to stock up on those and then I got our favorite k-cups because my husband was just about out of coffee um, picked up some extra virgin olive oil because we just ran out of that my husband really loves this unsweet tea from pure leaf and it's something that's not always in stock so when I saw that it was in stock at our store I went ahead and added a couple to our grocery list um, Robbie requested York peppermint patties. I purchased just a small package of like the individually wrapped ones. They substituted these minis unwrapped. I'm sure he'll still enjoy those. More household stuff. Aluminum foil we were all out of. It seemed like we ran out of all that type of stuff all at once. The paper plates, the foil, the sandwich bags. So stocked us back up there. I got a package of this fajita seasoned steak um, and actually this I ordered two of and they only gave me one so I'll definitely be putting in for a refund for the one that's missing. We're going to make some steak fajitas this week. I didn't realize quite how much pork I was buying this week until I started laying it all out. There's a whole lot of sausage here so we've got some smoked sausage, the big family pack we like to have this with macaroni and cheese um, so that's on the menu this week. I grabbed some breakfast sausage for us to have. We're going to have biscuits and gravy one night this week um, for like a breakfast for dinner type situation. And um, Robbie requested that we have sausage links on the side as well. So got those and the pork sausage for that um, meal. I ordered Italian sausage for some Alfredo that we were going to make with some Italian sausage. But they substituted the sweet ground Italian sausage. I'm not sure how good that would be in pasta, so I might have to come up with something else to do with that. And then we got some pork chops. So lots of pork this week. Um, we have been doing so much chicken lately, I wanted to switch it up. So we got some beef meals. Um, I've got some ground venison in the freezer that we're going to use for tacos this week in addition to our fajitas. So definitely mixing it up. We'll go back to chicken meals next week. I got some hamburger buns that is for some, well, I guess technically that's chicken. I've got some frozen chicken patties in the freezer, so we're going to do chicken sandwiches again. We did that last week, and that worked out great um, for a busy night. We have some patties left, so we're going to do that again this week. I got some peas because every time we have smoked sausage, I have to serve it alongside peas. I've told this story before. My oldest son, who's 20 now, um, when he was growing up and a toddler, his favorite meal was sausage and peas. So anytime I make sausage, I make peas on the side. And he appreciates it still to this day. Um, got some onions for those fajitas. And I also got some red onion for in there. I thought that would be a nice um, addition. I grabbed some tomatoes for the tacos. I guess just one tomato is all I ordered. Um, I don't really, I'm not really into tomatoes, so that's fine. Um, got some fajita sized tortillas. That was a substitution. I ordered the great value ones. Of course, now with Walmart, if you if they substitute items, you do pay the price of the substituted items. So you don't get it for the lower price anymore, which is such a bummer, but that's okay. Um, hopefully these will be good. We've never tried that brand. Bananas. 
Every single day at work, I've been eating a banana and one of these little 100 calorie packs of almonds as my breakfast. Sometimes I'll switch it up and do a banana and a granola bar. Um, so I needed to stock back up on my like office breakfast. I uh, grabbed some Alfredo sauce for that sausage Alfredo I mentioned. The diced tomatoes with green chilies, I like to put those in my tacos just to um, stretch the meat a little bit further and to add flavor. Robbie requested more hazelnut spread. I bought him a jar of this two weeks ago and he's already gone through it, so he wanted some more. Um, got some baby carrots, that's my favorite like snack at the office. So had to get some more of those. The lettuce, I got a thing of iceberg lettuce and a head. Um, shredded in a head. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to get one or the other and somehow I ended up with both, but that's fine. We'll use it. Uh, the bold nacho cheese flavored taco shells I thought would just make for a fun taco night. We haven't done those in a while. Um, let's see what else do we got here. I got that mac and cheese to have alongside the sausage. Got some breadsticks to go with that sausage pasta. Got some of the Orida fast food fries. Those are our favorite, and I thought that would go good with those chicken sandwiches. A gratin potatoes to go on the side of the pork chops. Sacked us up on cherry yogurt. That's everybody's favorite, the cherry flavor, so sacked us up there. Also string cheese, another one of my favorite office snacks. We have a little fridge at the office that I just keep stocked up with things like um, yogurt cups and string cheese, and that's been working out great. Got this fajita skillet sauce by McCormick. I usually buy the Frontera one, which is delicious. We haven't tried the McCormick one, but I'm sure it'll be fine. This has to add chicken. I'm gonna use it with the steak. It'll be great, I'm sure. The Fiesta blend cheese is for tacos. There's a gallon of milk back there, I'm sure you can see. And that is everything. So, just over $200 for my haul. Um, this will definitely get us through. The only thing I didn't buy was like work lunches. We've really just been doing snacks at the office. Like I'll have my breakfast and then I'll have like an afternoon snack around two o'clock and then come home and we'll have like an earlier dinner. So that's what we've been doing as of late. Things are always changing. We're trying to get into a rhythm with our new lifestyle and new routine, but that's everything I picked up this week. Um, there was something else. Oh, also, a 12 pack of Mountain Lightning. That's like um, Walmart's version of Mountain Dew. Robbie requested that. So we got that as well. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and leave a little heart eyes emoji down in the comments if you're excited to see grocery hauls back on my channel. I'm so psyched to get back to filming content for you guys. Um, no set schedule, just when I can, but feels really good to be doing this. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.